Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles San Diego Comic Con 2017 exclusive box set from NECA Toys, featuring the four turtles, Shredder, Krang, and the Foot Soldiers, based on the original TMNT cartoon series. That is right, my friends. Today, we've got an early look at this amazing San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. This is a set that I have been incredibly excited to check out, so we gotta start with a massive thanks to NECA Toys for sending this along so we can get a good look at it on video before the convention. So as you can see, what I'm holding here is everything wrapped up in this beautiful case. This is an amazing package for this because what we've got here is essentially a recreation of one of those vintage style vinyl carry cases. You know the ones I'm talking about, right? Those old like cardboard carry cases that are just wrapped in vinyl. You got a handle up here on top, check that out so we can carry it around if we want to. Uh, have this amazing new original artwork on there. Um, I love the artwork. It's kind of got that cheesy um, old carry case look to it. Also almost has a bit of an Archie Comics vibe, which is kind of neat, but really cool artwork of the four turtles uh, in front of the San Diego Convention Center. You can see that kind of wrapping around the box. And on the back side, we've got Shredder and Krang, uh, foot soldiers wrapped around here on the sides. It's just a really, really fun packaging. It's a great way to pack these up. And it feels just like those old vinyl cases. I mean, it's made exactly the same way. Has nice little metal fasteners here on the side. In fact, how about we start with a little bit of comparison time because this right here is one of the vintage uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles carry cases. It's definitely seen better days. It has some stickers on it, but you get the idea. You know, one of those old vintage carry cases. So you can see them side by side here. Very, very similar in design. The NECA one is much larger. Well, that's because it holds a lot of cool stuff. So really, really neat. Kind of looking at these side by side here, but it's just overall, I love this packaging. So let's open this up because I want to get a closer look at the inside and I want to show you guys how the contents are all packaged in here. So like I said, we got the little metal snaps right there on the side, which is very cool. We can fold that open and as we open it up, you can see all of the figures are in little kind of like clamshell blisters right there on the inside. So right on the top are our four turtles. So we can kind of pull that out. The top set right there gives you all four turtles with all their accessories right there and a nice little clamshell blister. And then underneath that, we've got the foot side of things stored away. So uh, that, of course, when you empty it out, you just got yourself a nice empty vinyl case now, which is kind of neat. So that's a really neat way to package these up. Makes them feel very, very special. But uh, yeah, check that out, man. So now we got those great blisters with all of these figures, tons of cool accessories. So the packaging is awesome, but now it's time to open these up and get a closer look at the figures within. All right, so we're gonna kick things off by looking at the heroes in a half shell themselves, the four turtles. So let's start with our trusty tape measure here to get the scale where you can see that each of the turtles stands right around five and a half inches tall. They are just under six inches. And as we're going to take a look at in just a bit, that puts them quite a bit shorter than Shredder and the Foot Soldiers, which is a good thing because they definitely should be shorter than a standard human. So the turtles look great right out of the box. As far as the paint deco goes, it's clean and crisp. And the sculpts, well, that might look a little familiar to you. In fact, if you picked up the arcade version of the turtles at last year's Comic-Con, you'll recognize these guys right off the bat. And you might remember that I mentioned back then that those sculpts looked like they were based on the cartoon series and just painted with that cool video game paint deco. So here we are now with those sculpts based on the cartoon series, now with cartoon accurate paint. And what I mean by cartoon accurate paint, specifically that is seen in the skin tone. You might notice right away that these guys feature a pretty dark green skin tone. It's a lot darker than what we've seen on a lot of the more recent licensing for the Ninja Turtles from the original cartoon series. But if you look at screenshots from the old cartoon or just watch the old cartoon, they had the darker skin tone like this in the show. So these are a lot more accurate to the animation than we've ever seen in toy form. And I think that is really cool. Now the paint deco is really great on these, like I said, it's all very clean, very crisp. The dark green of the skin looks really good with the bright color seen on the bandanas. Of course, Donatello rocking the purple. 
Leonardo with that nice bright blue, Mikey with the orange, and Raph with the red. And there's some really cool shading on there as well. You'll notice there's a lot of line work that kind of still gives them that animated look, which is really cool. Now, it's not crazy overdone like the video game figures. They had the weird lines and the textures that made them look like sprites from a video game. These just have a nice uh, subtle hint of black lines, a little bit of shading on the back of the figures there. You can kind of see going down the back of the arms and the back of the legs that really just kind of make these feel like they come out of the animation. But all around, just a really great looking painting. Deco. You can see how clean it is. Look at the shells. Those are so cool looking. Great designs. I absolutely love them. And they feel great. They feel just as nice and sturdy as all of the uh, arcade versions of the Turtles did. I think the plastic on here is really, really good. It's a very nice, solid feeling toy. Uh, they don't feel brittle or fragile at all, which is really good. Um, they, you know, flex around really well, which is going to be awesome when it comes to the articulation. So since we're talking about it, why don't we go ahead and and show off the articulation on these guys, Leo will be our test subject. So the heads are jointed at both the top and the bottom of the neck, which is very cool. You can see a nice ball joint there that allows the head to roll all the way around. Also, the neck can move forward and backward and kind of roll around on its own there. So very nice range of motion. Uh, we do have the ball joints at the shoulders. The joints are very, very tight on the shoulders, you can see, but that's good. It holds it in place very, very well. So the arms can go up, forwards, backwards. You got swivels at the bicep. You got your joints at the elbow there. Uh, very nice and hidden by the sculpt of the elbow pad, which is very cool. You can also swivel at the elbow and then you've got nice swivels at the wrists uh, as well as hinge joints so check that out you can actually move the hands up and down which is very very cool there's also an interchangeable hand feature that i'm going to show you when we get done going over the rest of the articulation so the body itself uh, does appear to be pretty static. There's really no articulation underneath the shell there. Uh, the thighs, I will say, is the one place on these where the joints aren't as tight as everywhere else. The joints are really great all around, but the thighs are a bit loose. Now, it's not too bad that it's going to cause problems with them standing. Uh, it's just noticeably looser than the rest of the joints. However, the legs are nice and ball jointed there. So look at that. You can move forwards. You can move outwards. You can swivel the thighs. So a really, really nice range of motion there. You got really good double joints at the knees, which again, the the sculpt of the knee pad uh, goes right over that, and I think that is very, very cool. Um, no swivels there, though. We do, however, have nice uh, swivels at the feet. In fact, the feet are ball jointed, so you can roll them around. You can move them up, down. Um, they don't rock side to side quite uh, in a wide range there. I mean, they do a little bit. Uh, the only thing I think would be really cool is if we can get them um, to rock just a little bit more because in some of the stances, the feet will be off the ground. But that is a minor, minor nitpick because all around, I think the articulation is very, very nice on these guys. So, of course, each of these guys comes with their signature weapon. So that is where we're going to start as far as accessories go. You've got Raph with his size. You've got Mikey with his nunchucks. Leo with his katanas. And Donatello with his bow staff. And we're actually going to look at each of those weapons individually as well. Because each of them has kind of like their own neat little things about them. So let's start with Donnie and his bow staff here. Great looking deco. Looks like a great wood grain on there that's wrapped up. You'll also notice it's sculpted so it's not perfect perfectly straight. Um, I think that's kind of cool. Now Donatello does have a holster on his back so he can store his bow staff if you want to and this is really cool. The bow staff has the ability to come apart. You can pull apart in the middle there so there's a nice little peg. This is going to be nice for doing things like putting it in the little holster on his back so that way instead of sliding the whole thing down because it's a really really tight holster right there um, so that works out really really good but that also comes in handy for posing the bow staff in his hands. So let me pull Pull that out there you can see see just how tight that is there you go um donnie's got a great range of motion that's going to allow you to get some single-handed poses as well as the essential two-handed bow staff poses and you can see i've kind of separated them into both hands this is perfect for this because now you can just kind of stick the peg back together and we can get donatello in some really great poses with his bow staff so then we got Leonardo with his katanas. Uh, they do look like the same katanas we got with the arcade game set. You can see they got that kind of wide style to them there, but uh, very nice. They're very clean. There's really not a lot of detail on there, so they definitely look like they're from the animation. Now, Leo is the only other figure besides Donnie who has a place to store his weapons. So he does have the really low uh, holsters for his katanas on his belt, so you can store those in there. Just like with Donnie's, they're very tight. You can actually see it's a bit tough to get those in there. But with a little bit of work, you can get them stored on his back if you want to. 
And of course, the standard hands that the figure comes with, the gripping hands, hold on to the katanas nice and firm, so you can get some really great poses with Leo holding on to his signature weapon. Mikey has got one of the most fun set of weapons in this entire box set, of course, because he's got the nunchucks, which are beautifully done with real metal chains. Very, very cool. Now, he doesn't have a holster on his belt. Uh, if you wanted to, you could kind of store those on the side. You actually can just tuck them right in the sides of the belt. They fit very nicely there. And the metal chains are very cool, so you can get Mikey uh, posing them. Uh, you know, I love doing the pose with the chucks under his armpits and stuff like that. That looks very, very very cool. But of course, one of the best features, again, another repeated feature, but still great, and I'm glad it's included, is the fact that you can remove the handle on one of the nunchucks, and you can replace the handle into this very cool spinning effect. So this is neat. This kind of gives the effect that the nunchucks are spinning. Like, you can even spin it like a pinwheel. I think that's kind of cool. But you can pose that in his hand, and it's a really cool effect. Makes it look like he's twirling one of his nunchucks. I only wish we got two of those so that it could look like he's twirling both nunchucks. But still, I'm glad it's included. I think it's a very, very fun little gimmick. And lastly, that's going to bring us to Raphael with his signature size. Uh, he can hold on to those uh, in a nice gripping pose. Uh, one of the things I like to do is actually gripping him kind of in like the stabby pose because that's for that makes for some of the best posing with him, I think. Uh, you can't really get him posed with his fingers around the blades uh, like we always see Raphael use a lot. You know, I don't really know if he did that a whole lot in the old cartoon. I guess he did a little bit. Um, but it's, it's, it's a little tough to actually get him posed like that. We can kind of squeeze him in. Let me see if I can make it happen. Let me see if I can make it happen. Yeah, see, so he doesn't doesn't really grip it very good and I remember kind of having that same issue with the arcade set but like I said you could still get a good grip on them either pointing upright or doing that kind of like stabby pose and you can get some really neat poses still with Raphael using his size so the signature weapons are really great, but there are a ton of other really cool accessories here. So first, let's go ahead and talk about those interchangeable hands. I brought those up earlier. Look at this. We got a ton of interchangeable hands. And what's really great about this is since their skin tones match, the interchangeable hands work for all of them. So of course, they all come out of the box with their normal gripping hands, which are good for their weapons. But in addition to that, we do get two open palmed hands. This is going to be good for holding on to some of your accessories or doing your high three poses. We have two kind of pointing fingers. Uh, these are also good for holding on to some of the ex other accessories as well. We have um, the thumbs up poses, which are also very, very cool. And that way you can do, um, you know, giving thumbs up, doing double thumbs up, however you want to do it. So if you want to swap those out, it's actually very, very easy to do. All of the hands are just on pegs. So you can pop that right out of the wrist joint there. And in its place, just take the new one, give a nice firm press. It clips into place and boom, just like that, a Raphael has got a brand new hand. Now this is going to be a cool setup for the next accessories I'm going to show you because they do have some really fun alternate accessories. First of all, you can't have turtles without pizza, right? So we've got this great boxed pizza, which is very cool. Nicely detailed to look like the cartoon. Check it out. Weird. It's weird pizza. I love it. Um, the pizza doesn't come out of the box, but there is one loose slice. The loose slice can be held in their hands if you want to, or for my favorite effect, there's a little hole in this that perfectly fits over Raph's sigh so we can recreate that amazing scene from the intro to the cartoon. Give me a break. How amazing is this? This might be one of my favorite things about this whole set. I don't know, something about this just makes me so happy that you can pull it off. There's a good chance this is how he'll be displayed on my shelf when we're done here. In addition to the fun pizza accessory, we do also have the very cool little grappling hook accessory. Uh, you can actually pop out the little grapple hooks on the side or just folds up into the cool little turtle-like look. Uh, it's got the good string on there. It's even weighted at the end over here. This is great. You can use this for Mikey. Uh, I believe this is going to be great, uh, especially for our fans across the pond, because I believe Mikey used this a lot more than his nunchucks back in the day. Um, so this is kind of a neat little accessory uh, to be included for fans who would prefer to pose their Mikey with this instead, or, you know, just have a cool little alternate accessory. And one of my favorite inclusions are the turtle comms. Check this out. This set comes with four turtle comms. Two of them are open, 
and two of them are compacted up. And the details on these are amazing. Nicely recreating the look of these from the show. Look at that, you even have the antenna kind of folded up on the inside on the little folded up ones. And then the ones that are opened up, great paint deco on there. You got the screen and everything. These are fantastic. And of course, using the alternate hands, you can get your turtles to hold on to them and just give them something extra. One of those neat little accessories that I love having because we don't get these enough and they played an important part in the original cartoon series. So the four turtles are really fun, great looking sculpts, wonderful paint deco, and you can get some really fun poses with them. They are so much fun to play with, but that's not all that's in the set. So let's jump over and take a look at the bad guy side of things. And here is the Foot Clan in all their evil glory and arguably, probably, the best reason to buy this set, am I right? Okay, come on, the turtles are great, but how many of you are so excited about the villains in this set? I mean, we get foot soldiers that look like the original cartoon, we get a new Krang figure, and we get probably the best Shredder figure ever made up to this point, right? Let's get a closer look at them. So Krang, I'm gonna set you off to the side for just a bit, because we're gonna focus on the foot guys here first. So let me bring in the tape measure because Shredder and the foot soldiers stand at the same height where they are just under seven inches tall. So we're almost standing a full seven inches. So when we put those guys next to the turtles themselves, you can see just how much they tower over the turtles. Also worth noting that just like with the turtles, there are some shared parts here with the Shredder and the Foot Soldiers that we got with both the arcade set and the comic book sets last year. Uh, but there's a lot of different stuff going on too. So looking at Shredder here, you can see there are some similarities. I mean, a lot of the armor pieces are the same. The legs are definitely the same. The skirt piece is the same. However, the torso is different. The helmet also seems to be designed different. Plus, cloth cape this time around on Shredder. And then looking at the foot soldiers, you can see that the legs are the same, but a lot of stuff is very different. They got the longer arms, they got the different tunics, and the very, very different head sculpts. So a good mix match of various uh, old parts and new parts, which come together brilliantly to make these very cool, accurate cartoon versions of the characters. So foot soldiers aside for a second, we got to talk about this shredder, right? This shredder is amazing. Overall, wonderful paint deco here that does a great job of capturing the look of the character from the show. Again, with that shading, you can see he's kind of got the lighter gray on the front, but it kind of gets darker as it goes around to the back. You'll see the same thing where it's almost like a light, lightish blue gray on the helmet and the armor, but it fades back to more of a dull gray as you get to the back. Just some very cool shading that gives it that animated look, and you even have some of that the dark lines seen on the arms and everything as well. But all in all, he's a great looking Shredder figure. Got this cloth cape this time around which is not something that we had before the cape is a really really nice material done in that great purple uh it's lightweight but it flows really well you know you can drape it up over the spikes if you want to i actually love the way uh it's kind of bulkier up here in the front it's a great look hides the neck really really awesome i think it suits the figure well having a cloth cape but of course that's going to help with the articulation as well so articulation on shredder is as follows you got a nice ball joint at the head so it can rock all the way around look left look right good range of motion there you got the ball joints at the shoulders the pads are soft so they can flex upwards it's not going to hinder the movement so the arms can go up forwards and backwards swivel at the uh, shoulder there uh, at the bicep you got double joints at the elbow you got swivels at the wrist as well as the hinge joints on the wrist which is very very nice uh, we do have a swivel at the waist there so you can turn the upper body left and right same nice ball joints at the thighs so legs can go outwards forwards backwards and swivel Double joints at the knees, which is very nice. Swivel at the boot. You'll notice the armor is connected to the boot there. And then great range of motion there on the ankles as well. So you can see that same ball joint. So the, they actually have a wider a range of uh, rocking on the ankles than the turtles seem to do. And toe joints, which is very, very cool. Now the foot soldiers are pretty much exactly the same. So I'm not going to run down all of that. I will note that they got those really, really long arms there. But you can see the articulation is pretty much the same all the way around. They are a bit hunched over though. So that's going to change the way that their heads move around. Still ball jointed, but since the ball joints forward, obviously that's going to change the way the heads move just a little bit. But still, you should be able to get some really, really great poses out of these guys. 
Now, they all have some really great accessories here as well. Shredder and the Foot Soldiers do include their own slew of interchangeable hands. So, Shredder uh, comes with closed fists. He's got gripping hands, and he's got kind of like these open hands. So, you know, like ready to fight. Got those great stances there just like that. And then with the foot soldiers, uh, they have gripping hands. They both have fists, and they both have open palms. And these swap in and out just like with the turtles. You just give a nice uh, firm pull on the peg there. Find your alternate hand, swap that in, and you can easily change up the way these guys display. And of course, all of those different hands are going to be so they can hold on to the different accessories as well. So starting with Shredder, here's a few accessories for him. He has his own katana. You know, so if he wants to do some sword fighting with Leo or do battle with any of the other turtles, he does have his own katana blade there. Holds onto it very, very well, which is really cool. In addition to that, he does have his cool little ray gun weapon as well. Is this the retro mutagen gun? I looked up pictures. It looks kind of like it. But nonetheless, you do have the nice ray gun there for Shredder. I really love that. So great different options there for arming up Shredder. Of course, you can't have a foot set without having the mutagen canister, and it is done in kind of this blue deco there, uh, meant to match the animation, but still very, very nice. Cool little sculpt. Love all the line work and everything on there. And he can hold on to it with kind of the more open hands. He'll get a, it'll just kind of rest on his hands there. And then one of my absolute favorite accessories, just like the turtles came with the turtle comms, Shredder comes with his own little comm link that he always used to talk to Krang, and there's even an image of Krang on the screen. It's wonderful, and Shredder can hold on to it just fine, so that way he can communicate with Krang, who's yelling at him from the Technodrome. Shredder! That's not a very good Krang voice, I know. <laughs> All right, and then the foot soldiers also have their own set of weapons to arm them up with here. We have two different guns for them. Uh, we've got the one very iconic large gun with almost like the plunger on the front. Um, even the old toys came with a gun that looked like that. And then we have a more standard looking blaster rifle as well. So you can get them to grip onto those. They can even do two-handed poses. It works really, really well. All right, so Shredder and the foot soldiers are great, but... I gotta tell you, the thing that I was most excited about with this set, right here guys, Krang. We get a brand new Krang. I love it. It's been so long since we've had a Krang figure like this to get, and it's wonderful. It's a great sculpt. Of course, this guy is new all the way around because we've not had him in this form yet. You can see one of the things that's very cool is he's got his little tripod thing to sit on. I believe this is the first time we have ever had the little tripod in toy form. I love it. So, it just clips onto the bottom there. You can see there's a little groove on the underside that will just fit right onto that. And that way you can pose him with the little tripod, which is so very cool. But also, great sculpt, great pink deco on there. A great job of matching what's in the cartoon. He does have ball-jointed tentacles on the front, so you can flex those around as well. Now, if you don't want to pose him with the little tripod, good news, the bubble walker is also included. This is really fun. To do this, you're actually going to pull the tentacles out of the ball joints on the front. You can open up the dome, place Krang inside. He kind of cleverly hides the little joint sockets behind the uh, sculpt of the walker. And then, look at this. You actually can plug the tentacles into the front of the walker to recreate the way they reach through in the animation. How cool is that? Now, we do have some articulation on the legs. It bends at the knee. It, you know, swivels up here at the top. Uh, I will say that for some reason, they don't seem to stand flat-footed all the way around. You can swivel these as well, though. He does stand fine, but there's always at least one piece that is up off the ground. But still, I love this. I think it looks fantastic. I am so happy to have a brand new Krang, especially one that is much more cartoon accurate than we have ever had before. And hey, since we're talking about old toys and everything, let's do this for fun. It's comparison time! Here is Shredder, the Foot Soldier, and Krang standing alongside their vintage toy counterparts. Just to give you an idea of what the new updated ones from NECA Toys look like while standing alongside them. And how about some comparison time for the turtles? Here they are standing alongside the SH Figuarts Turtles. I know you guys have been waiting to see this comparison. These were just recently released by Bandai. They are also based on the old cartoon, but you can really see the difference between those sculpts and the NECA sculpts. 
The best thing I can say in this comparison is that the SH Figure Arts ones seem to be based more on the look of the licensing. So what we see on a lot of merchandise and t-shirts and stuff, they have that lighter skin tone. The NECA ones look much more like the animation from the cartoon with the darker skin tones. Just for fun, let's pose them alongside some other cartoon-based Turtles figures. So here are the TMNT Classics from Playmates Toys. Quite a big difference in look here. And how about we go retro with the Toon Turtles, also from Playmates Toys. These are the ones from back in the day that were meant to look like the original cartoon series. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new cartoon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures from NECA Toys. All in all, I gotta say, I love this set. I am absolutely thrilled with it. The accessories are so much fun. The different posing options are great. Uh, I love that carry case. I think that's a really, really fun uh, way to box them all up. It's so cool getting some really nice cartoon accurate turtles, but even more so, it's great getting those members of the foot and Krang. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love that Krang. If you are a fan of the Ninja Turtles, you love the original cartoon series, I honestly think that you will love these figures. Now, the kicker is, these are a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive because it's the only way that NECA can sell Ninja Turtles figures because of licensing. Now, the good news is, they did already offer these as a pre-order, allowing them to be shipped to people who weren't even at the con, so hopefully you were lucky enough to pre-order them. If not, your only other options at this point are to buy them from San Diego Comic-Con if you're going to be there, or hit up the aftermarket. Very special thanks to NECA Toys again for sending this set along so we can get a good look at it before it comes out. I absolutely love these, and guys, if you can get a hold of them, do it. You will love them, I promise. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, leave me a comment, and let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe for more TMNT and NECA Toys reviews. Until next time, my friends.